Guys, it is the Brickman 2468 coming at you with a review on a big set this time. It is the Lego Castle, Trolls Mountain Fortress, and let's go to the box. The box, both sides are open because my mom flattened it, but 8714, number 7097, 844 pieces. And there's your set. I got it on clearance to Target for like $15 off. And you get like 10 figures, two trolls, and a horse, and some couple weapon racks, and a castle. So, three of the knights there, the two trolls, troll king, two trolls with the king trapped, and the wizard. They're all nice figures. And there it says king. Oh, I guess I should. One sec. There we go. Just falling axes, how you can interchange it, which I'm not going to do, but you get how you can. They're connected on technic pins. Launch that. Fighting on the stairs, he's using a wizard power, and that's, yeah. It's pretty repetitive, the only parts that aren't repetitive on this are the front gate and the back tower. The sides are like almost the same, it's just, but let's go to the figures. Uh, well, let's do the instruction manual. The first one just has this little picture on the back. Fighting, action. Not tons going on, but it has like 75 pages. Building, and this one has 69 pages of building, and it shows castle there, and that's it, and then how you can interchange it. The castle chariot, king's battle chariot, and drop its defense. Club, piece count, and Lego products. Let's go to the figures. This set will take a while. So here's the first figure you get. It's just one of those night dudes. It's got a cool helmet here. I really like that helmet. And he's got a big pike. There. There he is. I haven't seen in a while. Get this cool knife. It's got a mace, shield, a very cool helmet. I really like his helmet. And his face. There it is. I don't think. Oh, you know, he has the same printing as another guy. I'll show you. I won't take off his. So he's cool. And then you get the king. Whoops, I dropped the king. Sorry, king. He's a very cool gold helmet. I really like that. It's awesome. And I'm going to have to take off his shield because his printing is amazing. His head. I'm going to take it off. Because he has amazing printing. Really awesome. And look at that. Just, he is awesome. I really like him. He's dead now. The final knight you get is this guy. He's the only one who has a double sided face because they make every single face like that that way. Sword and shield, and he's got that same, that same torso as that other knight. Big pile of figures. And you get the king. For the trolls, he's nice. He's got this cape, it's ragged, and got some holes in it. Same cape as a wizard. I don't. Oh, maybe he does have back printing. I'll see if he does. If he does. There you go. And he has a very nice face. So he's cool. And you get two trolls who are the same, but they have different torsos. Yes. Cool. He's got a sword. And this one's the same, but he has different torso printing. And then the wizard. 
He is nice. Nice printing. I don't think he has back printing. Oh, yes, he does. It's the same cape as the other dude. It's just back printing. Nice hood. This hood is used. It's been used a lot, but it's cool. And his face is cool. It's really nice. And his staff, it's got that piece. That's a nice piece. The two trolls. There are no stickers in this set, by the way. Um, he is a nice figure. He's got a club. Of course, his arms move. And his head doesn't. His legs don't. Spikes there. He's a nice figure. His arms are connected by little Technic pegs. And then you get the same one, but he's like a brownish color. I used to think he was gold, but he's not gold anymore. Or he's not gold. He was never gold. But he is nice. Spikes on his back. I like him. And then you get a couple weapon racks. Whoops, it's coming off. Sword and a spear. And a key and a spear. You get two buckets. One has a key in it and one has a chicken leg. Which makes no sense. But here's a horse. Mask on it. Its head does move up and down, but mine is stiff. Don't, yeah, it's stiff. But also, you can take off its saddle and put in some other white pieces to make it look like a horse, but I lost. To make it look like without a saddle, but I lost that because I didn't need it. Which I really didn't. Now, let's go to the set. Um, these front pegs right there, there's like little caves where you're supposed to put these guys and they stand in there like that and you can put them on the pegs. Some flames here, a skull there, a bunch of rock, jagged rocks and spikes everywhere. It's like a death castle, which it kind of is. And the gates open. And once you go in, it's got on both sides these axes. That come down, and you can take this scared knight and stick him in there and kill him. Yep, he's dead now. And you got some side turrets up here, more spikes and plants. And there's some rocks here which you can put in there. And you can, um, I'll fling it at the box. It's got some power. You can really fling it far, like here, I'll move the box aside, and you can watch this. Fell on the floor over there. And onto the sides, there's really nothing in there. On there, some plants, details and stuff. Inside there, there's some ladders, space for figures up there. And some more back here. But there's not a lot of detail there. And then you go into the back. That's where most of the detail is. And of course you can see here you just move this knob here and it swings. Um, tons of spikes. I think there's like 30 spike pieces in this. It's really crazy. Um, and on the tower here you got stairs. There's kind of like a cave if you look in there. Down at the bottom, it's like a cave almost. In there. And then, walk up here, there's a doorway. And inside there, there's a sorcery ball, which is a nice piece. And when you take that off, it's just that inside. And a little table with some potion bottles, a spider, and a bat. Then up on the third level, there's a jail cell. Which is really hard to open because it doesn't have a stud there, but yeah. Some flames. And what you can do, you can pull this out. And they can escape, even though they have to jump probably in Lego figures like 20 feet. But, well, in real castle, that'd probably be about 100 feet. But, yeah. So that's cool. And up on the top, there's some little torches there, some rock formations. Oh, you guessed it. More spikes. 
and a shield there. Pretty cool. So that's really about it for this set, but I this came out in like 2009, I think. I got it last year. Of course, I just got my YouTube channel a couple days ago, so I'm just going to be reviewing any sets that I really have together. But this is a great set, honestly, in my opinion. It's the only castle that I have, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's the only castle I have for like Lego like Castle or Kingdom or anything, but it is great. It should have included a little more functions, maybe, other than like the opening gates and these and those things, but there's not a lot of functions. There's not a lot of detail, except for in the back. Well, there is some detail up here, but if you know what I'm saying, it does have a lot of minifigures and a lot of play value at that with all the minifigs. So I'm going to give this set a 9.5 out of 10 for all the reasons I just named. And that's about it. So I hope you guys like this. Um, more reviews coming. I don't think I'll get one tomorrow. Because I have a basketball game tomorrow. But I'll um, rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.